Hello, everyone, and welcome to your 60-minute vinyasa practice. My name is Caitlin, and I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and well. Today for class, you'll want two blocks and a blanket. However, if you don't have them, no stress, no worries. You'll be perfectly successful without them. If you're ready to begin, I'll offer up supported Tadasana, a restorative backbend. Start with your two blocks. With your first block in hand, you'll put that behind you. You want that wide and low. This will brace your shoulder blades. Second block about six to eight inches further back, second setting, and this will support the back of your skull. If you're familiar with the pose or you know you'd like to start class in a deeper backbend, you take second height for your shoulder blades, still six to eight inches further back. Your second block will bump up to third setting. This way your head is above your heart space. Put your back body towards your two blocks. And if you'd like to layer on open hips, take your blanket, unfold it so you have some extra fabric to work with. Take Baddha Konasana, soles of feet together, knees splay wide. Drape your blanket over your arches and your ankles and tuck that excess blanket around your outer shins or calf muscles. And once you splay your knees open, take your hands to the floor and begin to recline. That first block, be picky, it's shoulder blades. Second block, behind your head. To elongate your cervical spine, chin beneath forehead, your neck is long and smooth. If you need extra space for your low back, you lift your hips, tuck your pelvis, and bring your sitting bones back down to rest. Let your elbows, forearms, and the backs of your hands flop out to the floor at your sides. And if there are any extras calling to your attention, glasses on your face, jewelry, a wristwatch, Especially when you practice at home, make sure that your cell phone is off, your space is clear. And to truly settle into the four corners of your mat, let's take a long, slow, deep breath in. Open mouth, audible exhale, release. And you know where you are and what you're doing, long, slow, meditative breath in. Little hold at the top. And open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. And as you lie here quietly on your back body, I'd like to share with you a reading from one of my favorite books, The Book of Awakening. Having the life you want by being present to the life you have. The author, Mark Nepo. As I share this passage, the topic at hand is fear. May you take what resonates, whatever it is that strikes a chord in the willingness of your heart and your thinking mind, you hang on to that and choose to leave the rest behind. Seeing into darkness. Seeing into darkness is clarity. This is called practicing eternity. A quote from Lao Tzu. Fear gets its power from our not looking at either the fear or what we're afraid of. Remember that attic or closet door behind which something terrifying waited. And the longer we didn't look, the harder it was to open that door. As a young boy, this obsessed me until I would avoid that part of the house. But finally, when no one was home, I felt compelled to face the unknown. I stood before that attic door for the longest time, my heart pounding. It took all my small inner boy strength to open it. I waited at the threshold and nothing happened. I inched my way in and stood in the dark, even longer until my breathing slowed. And to my surprise, my eyes grew accustomed to the dark. Pretty soon, I was able to explore the old musty boxes and found pictures of my grandfather, my father's father, the only one in the family that I am like. Seeing those pictures opened me to aspects of my spirit. It seems whatever the door Whatever our fear, be it love or truth or even the prospect of death, 
We all have this choice again and again, avoiding that part of our house or opening the door and finding out more about ourselves by waiting until what is dark becomes seeable. And as that reading registers in your body for the first time today, take a full breath into your belly, ribs, and heart. And a complete breath out, soften your belly, ribs, and heart. And as you lie here quietly cultivating your breath, I'd like you to bring to mind a door you fear going through. For now, simply breathe and in your mind's eye, grow accustomed to this threshold. With this visualization in your mind, breathe deeply and simply feel safe around the closed door. Vowing to return when you feel stronger. For the duration of today's practice, there are many times that you will be faced with fears. Right? So often showing up to the mat, showing up to a yoga practice, we have to face so many different aspects of ourselves. Sometimes the fear can seem so small, like taking off our socks and being barefoot. Other times the fear or the challenge feels greater, right? To balance on one foot or to balance your body weight on your two hands. But whatever the challenge today, whatever the fear, may you breathe deeply with and through. Show yourself that you are capable And as many times as your attention divides for the duration of class, you start to wander off into fantasy land or the to-do list that overarches your life, please come back to your intentional breathing. And we'll advance the pranayama practice, long, slow, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, expel the stale, stagnant breath. Close your mouth, ujjayi breath in through your nose, ujjayi breath out through your nose. Start to constrict your throat just enough so that with every inhale and exhale, there is sound, there is effort, and there is your attention. And the truth of the matter is, without your attention, this breath doesn't happen. Use the breath to anchor your mind in the moment. Use the next 60 minutes to face your fears on the four corners of your yoga mat. These last few moments are entirely yours. Continue to shape and cultivate your intentional breathing. And the hope is you feel a little more connected to yourself, a little more connected to your breathing, 
a little more connected to the beauty of this moment. And if right now you know that you would benefit from more time in stillness, stay in supported Tadasana and simply listen. Know that you are still in benefit. But if there's a readiness to move on, you inspire intentional change through your 10 fingers. Wiggle them, spread them, feel the energy in the palms of your hands. And then carry that same attention down to your feet. Feel your 10 toes, your arches, and your heels. And if you're bound by that blanket, you might begin to wiggle your feet, become a little more courageous with the movements. Wiggle your feet free from the blanket entirely. Close off your knees, close off your hips, constructive rest. Angle your toes in and knock your inner knees together. You can stretch your arms out in a capital T. If your shoulders allow, pull your arms long over your head, out through 10 fingers. You might flip your hands and interlace your fingers down to the webbing. And release your arms heavy to the floor at your sides and then take a windshield wiper into your knees, leisurely but with intention. Sway to the right and to the left. Make sure the breath is deep and free. Come back to center and roll to fetal pose on your right side. Use your upper arm to pad the side of your skull and hug your knees just comfortably high into your heart. Soft gaze, fluid breath. And you extend your top left leg long. That is meant to serve as leverage. Press your palms into the floor and carefully lift up your torso, neck, and head. Clear your mat space of your two blocks. You can set them at the top front corners of your mat. You may use them later on in the practice. And then with your blanket, fold it up, place it right underneath your knees. Tabletop is where we meet. Spread your fingers wide and take up some mat space. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly and lift your heart and your head. Exhale, cat spine. You press the ground away and dome out through your back ribs. Inhale, cow pose. Lift your heart, your chin, but not your brows. Exhale, cat spine. Tuck your pelvis and lengthen low back. Inhale, cow. From the base of your chin to your low abdominals. Exhale, cat back. Chin to collarbones, head is heavy. And find your neutral table. Extend your right leg long behind you. Tuck under right toes. And we inhale, cow pose. Tilt the pelvis, lift your heart. Exhale, cat spine. But your right leg, it's still long behind you. Go ahead, inhale, cow pose, heart high. Exhale, cat back. Really press your right heel towards the floor. Inhale, cow. Feel your pelvis tilt. Exhale, cat spine. You really press the ground away. Half child pose. Swing your right leg over to the right and sink your left hip back towards your left heel. All four corners of your right foot can stay anchored or you flex your right foot and dig your right heel into the floor. Five right toes up towards the ceiling. If you'd like a side body stretch, walk hands, arms, and torso over towards your right foot. C-curve your spine. Release your forehead or closer to your hairline, closer to floor. You maintain your ujjayi breath. Attention is narrow. Inhale, rise through table. Come to your hands and collect your right knee. And exhale, downward facing dog. Heavy heels, tailbone high. Really secure and strong through both hands. Press through the base of your palms and then grip with your finger pads. Anytime your palms are on the ground, maintain that hand lock, especially that grip with the finger pads. 
Take a breath in. Exhale, tabletop, return to your knees. Extend your left leg long behind you, tuck left toes. Inhale, cow pose, lift heart and head, but you have neutral brows. Exhale, cat spine, tuck pelvis and tuck chin. So a little more familiar, inhale, cow stretch. Keep your left leg strong and straight. Exhale, cat spine. Feel your shoulder blades pull away from your spine. One more time, inhale, cow stretch. Exhale, cat back. Half child pose, extend left leg over to the left and sink your right hip back towards your right heel. As you melt your torso over your right leg, option for that side body stretch if you so choose. Walk hands, arms, and torso over towards your left foot. Please note that in any series, your second side, it might look different and it certainly might feel different. So honor the signals that your body sends you. Do what is safe and appropriate for you today. All the way down into your right hip crease. You take a breath in. Let a breath out. Inhale, rise through table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let length run through your spine. And take a few pedals into your heels. Dip one low. Lift the opposite high. Feel calf muscles, hamstrings. But move slow enough to feel, to truly connect to your body via the bridge of breath. If you have a blanket on your mat space, clear it off. Inhale, high plank, shoulders over wrists. You can drop to your knees if you'd like. Exhale, pass through chaturanga, lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose, press through tops of feet and hands. Exhale, lower down. You hover your face off the floor. Now relax your buttocks. Inhale, cobra pose. Breathe into your navel. Exhale, lower down. Tuck chin towards your chest. Inhale, cobra. Elbows in. Minimize any flare. Exhale, lower down. Downward facing dog. Elevate your hips and drop through your heels. Remember that security through your hands, lock up finger pads and press through base of palms. Let that fire and commitment bring energy into your core. Tuck your front ribs back, compact and strong. Inhale, look forward and lift your heels. Exhale, forward fold, walk or quietly hop. Inhale, halfway lift, there's lightness and length. Exhale, forward fold. Let your head go really heavy at the bottom. Inhale, halfway up, hands to thighs or shin skin. Exhale, forward fold. With patience, inhale, halfway lift. Strength behind your heart, shoulder blades squeeze. Exhale, forward fold, heavy head at the bottom. Bend your right knee, plant your right hand. Inhale, left arm high, big twist. Exhale, take a half bind. Wrap your left form around your low back. Take a full breath into your low belly. Exhale, Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reset with length. Heart open, exhale, forward fold. Now bend your left knee, plant your left hand, inhale, right arm high, shoulder stack. Exhale, half bind. Bend your right elbow. See if you can work your right fingertips towards your left hip crease or inner left thigh. Take a full breath in. Exhale, Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift. Spine is flat. Exhale, forward fold. Big toes together, inch between heels. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, stand tall, lift your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, set your gaze or close your eyes. Big breath in, complete breath out. 
You stay on the four corners of your space, mentally and physically. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, rise. Exhale, back bend, goalpost your arms or take your hands to your head. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift your shoulders up into your ears. Exhale, back bend, hip shift forward, chest lift high. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, again, shoulders rise, lift them to ears. Exhale, back bend, broad through collarbones. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, feel your ribs lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Fluid, inhale, halfway lift, especially the middle spine, you iron out. Exhale, plant your hands, high plank, step your feet back. Inhale, shift forward, and exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway down. Here we go. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift heart and head. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and let your breath out. Lock up your hands, palms up to finger pads. Inhale, look forward, high heels. Exhale, forward fold. Control how you travel. Inhale, halfway lift. Remember, big toes together. Exhale, fold just an inch between your heels. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Get really long and lifted. Exhale, hands to your heart. You stand at attention. From your heart, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Sweep high. Exhale, open arm twist to the right, right arm pull back, left arm forward. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift your shoulders up, up, up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right, stay with that same side, square hips forward. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, ribs rise. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Lovely. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift your chest, lift your chin, gaze high. Exhale, open arm twist to the left, left arm pull back. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, press into your heels. Exhale, open arm twist left. Keep your left hip forward, please. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift heart, chin, and gaze. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, gaze high, palms might touch. Exhale, forward fold, soft knees, then heavy head. Inhale, halfway lift, lightness. Exhale, Chaturanga, plant your hands, plant your feet, lower just halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, shoulders roll back. Exhale, downward facing dog, squeeze at your belly to lift your tailbone high. Lock up your hands secure and stable and breathe a little bigger. Inhale, look at your fingers. And exhale, forward fold. Really quiet when you land. Inhale, halfway lift. Your heart is open. Exhale, forward fold. Feel anchored through your feet. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stand at attention. A sweet breath in. And a complete breath out. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Lift your shoulders up to earlobes. Now right hand grab left wrist. Exhale, side body stretch. Let your hips sway to the left. Hold the shape, continue to breathe, but a little bit wider. Roll your left armpit and left shoulder back. All four corners of both feet root down. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lengthen. Now left hand, grab right wrist, exhale, side body stretch. Feel your hips bump to the right. At the same time, pull to the left. Use the grip of your left fingers. Spread your five right fingers. Spacious jaw, breath in a flow, even though you commit to stillness. 
Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, palms might touch, lift your chin and eyes. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward bend. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Your tricep push-up, feel your elbows shave your side bodies. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift knees and thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck front ribs back and draw navel to spine. Feel the security of your hands, the commitment to where you are and what you're doing. Inhale, look to fingers. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Breathe a little deeper. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Ankles crease, knees bend. Exhale, chair plane. Front ribs to thighs, chest to knees. Get low. Inhale, chair pose. Lift chest, lift hands. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Hook your left elbow on your right leg, but pull your left knee back in space. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, prayer twist over to the left. Right elbow hook, pull your right knee back. There we go. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plane. Front ribs to thighs, you compress. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Sweep high, straighten your limbs. Exhale, back bend. Goal post your arms, puff up your chest. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Stretch high, get long. Exhale, forward fold, release and soften. Inhale, halfway lift, you're fluid and smooth. Exhale, down dog, or vinyasa through. As I start to use that generic cue, it's just what you've practiced. Chaturanga first, your back bend of choice, and then into down dog. Front ribs back, security in your hands. And just as you are, three cycles of breath. Inhale, right leg high, square your hips. Exhale, low lunge, step between your hands. Drop your left knee down, untuck left toes. You can always use a blanket if you like. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, arms up. Exhale, half split, straight right leg, left hip over left knee. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, all four corners of your right foot root down. Exhale, half split. Spine is flat like a halfway lift. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, kneeling crescent. Exhale, half split. You can flex your five right toes. Pull your right hip crease back. If you'd like to explore, walk hands and arms over to the right side of your space. Your hips will bump to the left. You'll feel a nice squeeze at your inner thighs. Flex your right foot and roll your right pinky toe down towards the floor. Allow the sensation to travel from your outer right ankle up to your IT band. Cherry on top is to let your heart and head melt closer to the floor. And if you're in the side body stretch, take a big breath in. Exhale, half split, come back to center. Inhale, look forward and lift your chest. Exhale, low lunge, bend your right knee, tuck under left toes. Inhale, high crescent, that's shoulders over hips. Exhale, back bend, sink lower into your hips, goal post your arms. Inhale, high crescent, lift your ribs and your hands. Exhale, back bend, find greater depth, strong legs. Again, inhale, high crescent, lift up, heart to hands. Exhale, back bend, sink even lower, strong right leg. Hold and breathe and see if you can get your left knee a little bit lower. Just hover it off the ground for three. Super strong. You've got it for two. Face what you need to and watch the breath. That's one. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Firm your left heel into the mat. 
Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm swoop high. Exhale, extended side angle. Take right forearm to right thigh, left bicep over left ear. You just might take your right hand to a block or to the instep of your right foot. Start to roll your left shoulder back. Use your body awareness, roll your left ribs back and lift your gaze. Look at your left palm. Three, you've got it. Make sure you can breathe. Two, and one. Look down at your right foot so you're stable, you're grounded. Inhale, reverse triangle, straight right leg, float your right arm high, big side body stretch. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose, right arm forward, then right hand down, left arm high. If you'd like a block, take it under your right hand or wedge it under your right calf muscle. That same energy that you've practiced are to open your heart in this moment. Left shoulder roll back, you're strong. You roll your left ribs back and then look up at your top left hand. Belly breathing in the middle and face whatever it is that comes up for you with your mindful breath practice. Look down at your right foot. Inhale, reverse warrior. Big lift, sink low. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel hands to the floor. Inhale, down dog kick. Sweep your right leg high. Secure your hands. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. Please be aware that when you take chaturanga, your chin is off your chest. Please resist the drop of your forehead towards the floor. Three cycles of breath in the middle. Gather your attention. Down dog static is where we meet. Second side, no comparison, no expectation. Inhale, left leg high, square hips. Exhale, smooth step between your hands. Drop your right knee down to blanket or mat. Untuck right toes. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, lift the abdominals, heart, then your hands. Exhale, half split, work your depth without pain or strain. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, all four corners of your left foot, resist. Exhale, half split, right hip over right knee, not too far back, please. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Feel breath in your belly and your side ribs. Exhale, half split. It's fingertips or flat hands, whatever is accessible, but do lengthen out your spine. If you'd like to explore, walk hands and arms over to the left. Feel hips bump to the right and flex your left foot and roll your left pinky toe down towards the floor. Cherry on top is to melt your heart and hairline closer to the earth. And whatever it is that comes up for you today, you choose to face it and breathe with it. Take a breath in. Exhale, half split. You find the middle. Inhale, look forward and lift your chest. Exhale, low lunge. Bend your left knee, tuck under right toes. Strong. Inhale, high crescent. Feel your right heel high. Exhale, back bend. Goal post your arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, high crescent. You might straighten your left leg a touch. Exhale, back bend. Now sink even lower into your left leg. Good. Again, inhale, high crescent. You rise. Exhale, back bend, sink nice and low. Now bend your right knee and hover it as close as you can to the floor. Take the challenge with stride. You've got it three. For two, make sure that you can breathe. That's one. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Right heel plant, palms pressed down. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm swoop high. 
Exhale, extended side angle. Left forearm to left quad. You might take left hand to block or to floor. And right bicep over right ear. Pull, stretch, reach. Get really long as you begin to open your heart. For more grounding, please look at your left big toe. To challenge the balance, look up at your right fingers. With a set gaze, smooth out your breathing. Inhale, reverse triangle, straight left leg, left arm high. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose, left arm forward. It's a deep left hip crease. Left hand down, peel your right arm high. Optional block, always know that it's there. Place it under your left hand or left calf. There's an imaginary wall behind you. Press the back of your right shoulder into it and then look up at your right thumbnail. I challenge you to get lighter on your left hand for a count of three. Make sure you can breathe two and one. Look down at your left foot. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge, hands to floor. Inhale, down dog kick, left leg high with square hips. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. Let your mindful breathings guide your mindful movements. When you find the middle, take three more breaths. Secure through your hands, base, knuckles up to finger pads. Front ribs tuck back. Inhale, look forward to hands. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, big toes together, inch between heels. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plane, chest to knees, get nice and low. Inhale, chair pose, length on your low back. Exhale, prayer twist to the right, left elbow, hook right leg. Inhale, chair pose, gaze is high. Exhale, prayer twist to the left, right elbow, hook. You've got it. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, chair plane, ribs to quads, compress. Inhale, Urdva Hastasana, straight limbs, gaze high, exhale, back bend. Lift your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, Urdva Hastasana, exhale, forward fold. You're so in control of the breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. Your conscious breathings cleanse what you've done. Inhale, right leg high, hips square. Look at your hands. Exhale, step between them. Drop left knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, kneeling crescent. Exhale, half split, straight right leg, flat spine. Inhale, look forward and exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, back bend. Get really low into strong hips. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. We take out that repetition. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm high. Keep the bend in your right knee. Exhale, extended side angle, left bicep over left ear. Inhale, reverse triangle. Really hug your heels towards the midline. Strong legs. Keep that hug. Exhale, triangle pose. Light through your right hand. Inhale, reverse warrior. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel hands to floor. Inhale, down dog kick. Right leg high. Front ribs back. You're compact. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. 
Inhale, left leg high, square hips, front ribs back. Exhale, step between your hands and press the ground away. Right knee down, inhale, Anjaneyasana. Look up, lift your chin. Exhale, half split. And keep your torso low. Inhale, look forward, that's length. Exhale, low lunge. Bend your left knee and tuck right toes. Inhale, high crescent. Set your gaze. Exhale, back bend. Goal post arms, hips nice and low. Inhale, high crescent. Lift upward. Exhale, warrior two. Stabilize. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep your attention on the breath. Inhale, reverse triangle, straight left leg. No rush, it's not erratic. Exhale, triangle pose, right? There's magic in your control. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your left knee. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel hands to the earth. Inhale, down dog kick, left leg high. Exhale, down dog, or vinyasa through. And by choice, you face whatever it is that comes up for you today. Movement is processing, so utilize your time here. To the pinnacle of the pose, your tailbone, breathe in. Exhale, balasana, child pose. Breathe into the tenderness of this moment. As you return to the stillness that was always there, Allow your breath to regulate, the beat of your heart to steady. And much like centering, if you'd like more time here, extend your stay, just listen. It's your time, it's your energy, right? So take care of yourself. But if there's a readiness to move on. Inhale, rise through table. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, look forward to hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, you deepen. Let's grab for your blocks if you have them today. Place them out in front of you, shoulder width distance, so right underneath your hands. And your right foot is your foundation. Take a little bend in your right knee and take left hand to left hip. Inhale, half moon, left leg up, left leg back. We'll take this in a little flow. Exhale, forward fold with control, left foot down. Inhale, half moon. Kickstand your right fingertips. Start to get a little lighter, more skillful. Exhale, forward fold. You know where you are and what you're doing. Inhale, half moon. Flex your left foot. Exhale, forward fold with control. Find depth and closure. Inhale, half moon. Roll your left shoulder back. Exhale, forward fold, control. This last one's a hold. Inhale, half moon. Roll your left hip back. Use your left hand. Feel the length and strength in your right side body. And just maybe you lift your left arm high. Set your gaze. That way you can start to breathe in the balance. 
And here's the deal. If you're lucky enough to fall, you are lucky enough to begin again. Right here as you are, breathe in, get bigger. Exhale, forward fold, left foot, left hand down. Inhale, halfway up, reset. Exhale, forward fold. No comparison. Whatever happens on this second side is perfect. Ground into your left hand or take it to the block. Little bend in your left knee. There's more buoyancy there. Right hand, right hip. Inhale, half moon, second side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Right heel up, right leg rise. Exhale, forward fold. It's smooth. You're in control. Inhale, half moon. Roll your right shoulder back, broad collars. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half moon. Use your right hand. Roll your right hip back. And exhale, forward fold. Remember, last one's a hold. Use what you've cultivated. Inhale, half moon. Right hip back, right shoulder back. Maybe right fingertips extend high. See if you can soften the back of your neck and then lighten the load on your left fingertips. Kickstand them, or perhaps you hover off the floor or the block. I want you to take a breath in, get bigger, get lighter. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Come on down with care and control. Inhale, halfway lift. Straight limbs, flat spine. Exhale, forward fold. You bend your knees, come down to your seat. Bound angle legs, soles of feet together, knees nice and wide. If you need more support for open hips, sit on that folded blanket, please. Hands to your ankles. Your inhale, lift your chest, lift your arms if you like. Exhale, forward fold. Your hands can come back to your feet and ankles or stretch your arms long out beyond your toes. It's far from easy, but very simple. Breathe in a way that you know you are breathing. Breathe with whatever it is that comes up for you today. The practice, it helps us face fear in stillness. The fear of slowing down. It helps us to face the fear of drawing inward and being with just ourself. But the more we practice and the more we cultivate, the more inclined we are to experience peace and acceptance. Now lift your torso, close off knees, close off hips. Plant your hands behind you about shoulder width distance. Inhale, reverse table, sweep your hips high. Exhale, drop your head back. Peel your chin away from your collarbones. And when you breathe in, you lift your hips and your heart, a little more strength, a little more effort. And when you exhale, you soften over effort, jaw and brows. Three, shoulder blades kiss together. Two, you've got it. One more inhale, drive into your heels to lift your hips up. Exhale with control, lower buttocks to the floor. Once you're grounded, clear space of the blanket with your abdominals reclined to your back body. Now you have three options, so please be honest with where your energy is at right now. Pay attention to the signals that your body sends you. Option one, waterfall. Extend legs up towards your ceiling. Option two, plow pose. Hands to upper buttocks or low back. Hoist your hips up and guide your feet towards the floor overhead. Option three, stand on your shoulders. Shimmy shoulders under chest. Walk your hands up a little bit higher to back ribs. Lift your right leg up and left leg up. If this is super severe on your cervical spine. Fade your heart away from your chin. Breathe deeply in your choice. Things may have shifted, so you certainly know in your higher heart to take your time. If you opted for shoulder stand, with quality control, lower to plow. Feet return to the floor over your head. Keep that quality control, right? There's magic in moving slow. 
articulate your back body to the ground, your back ribs, lumbar spine, sacrum, tailbone. And with waterfall, bend your knees, plant feet to mat. If it is safe and appropriate, fish pose. Sit on the backs of your hands, palms down. Dig into your elbows, lift your head and your chest, and then drop your head back. You arch your spine and open your heart. Inhale, lift your head and look forward. Exhale, lower upper back and head. Free your hands. Apanasana, hug both knees into your chest. If you like the extra padding, option for your blanket under neck and head. And that will help to calm your nervous system in preparation for Shavasana. Spinal twist, bent knees fall to the left. Open your arms, option to gaze to the right. Inhale through center, knees and gaze. Exhale, spinal twist, legs fall right. Option to gaze to the left. Inhale through the middle. Legs and gaze. Exhale, Ananda Balasana, happy baby pose. Flare your knees wider than torso and take hands to hamstrings, ankles, or the bottoms of your feet. Stretch and sensation, but please do not force or jar. For complete closure, hug knees to chest. Compact and tight, breathe in. Exhale to Shavasana, your final resting pose. Traditionally, limbs go long and heavy. Feel your feet flop open. Natural curl that lands in your 10 fingers. And if you find it beneficial, a cleansing exhale, long, slow, meditative breath in. Longer, slower, meditative breath out. And with your gathered mind and the willingness in your heart, may you enjoy and appreciate your precious time spent in rest. And even now in corpse pose, May you face whatever fear comes up.
It seems whatever the door, whatever our fear, be it love or truth or even the prospect of death, we all have this choice again and again. Avoiding that part of our house or opening the door and finding out more about ourselves by waiting until what is dark becomes seeable. Seeing into the darkness is clarity. This is called practicing eternity. And as that registers in your body for the second time today, with loving awareness, take a deep breath in. A complete breath out. And especially from the comfort of your home, if your day allows an extended rest, stay as you are and enjoy. But if there's a readiness to be guided out of Shavasana, inspire delicate change through feet and fingers, even the expression you hold on your face. Gradually, a full body stretch that will feel amazing through four limbs and spine. Without over effort, from your low back into the earth and hug knees into your heart. Stay relatively compact. Roll to fetal pose on your right side. Please take a moment, pause in the state of reflection. Feel into the effects of the last 60 minutes. And you move in a way that you feel taken care of. Transition upright to a comfortable seat. Feel grounded into sitting bones, strong and tall through the length of your spine. Join your hands together at your heart in Anjali Mudra. Take a mild bow of chin to chest. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice, your healing is continuous. Your heart steady and of benefit to the family of all beings. With loving kindness and compassion in your heart, take a big breath in and a long breath out. With an abundance of love and gratitude extended to you, we close the practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. My name is Caitlin. If you need anything at all, please chat with me. Use me as a resource. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And again, thank you so much for practicing.